This question wants us to use uh, algebra to find the x and y intercepts um, of this equation. So we've done it before where we just look at the picture and see where it crosses the axis. But here, we're going to find it with algebra. And let me show you how this is going to work. All right, so first, if it's an x-intercept, that means it's somewhere on the x-axis, right? All right, that's what an x-intercept means. So x-intercepts are on the x-axis, but notice that the y-coordinate of these points, no matter where it is, the y-coordinate is always zero for an x-intercept. All right, so x-intercepts mean y has to be zero. And likewise, for a y-intercept, uh, anywhere on the y-axis that you are means that x has to be zero, right? The x-coordinate of all those points is zero. So we're going to use that information to help us do this question. All right, let's do the x-intercept first. All right, so the x-intercept, we'll do 3y plus 2.5x minus 3.8 equals zero. All right, so I said for an x-intercept, y is zero. So for an equation that's as simple as this one, when y is zero, we can just eliminate that term, right? If y is zero, then three times zero is zero. So that term basically goes away, and we're simply left with 2.5x minus 3.8 equals zero and we'll do our algebra here add 3.8 to both sides and we get 2.5 x equals 3.8 divide both sides by 2.5 and we get that x equals and 3.8 divided by 2.5 is 1.52 all right now we need to write this as an ordered pair so x is 1.52 and for any x intercept y is always zero all right and notice they've already given us the parentheses here we don't need to write parentheses or type them into the answer box we just need the x coordinate and then the y coordinate which is zero now likewise we're going to do the y intercept and for the y intercept the x will become zero so we're going to have 3y plus 2.5x minus 3.8 equals zero. This time the x term is what's going to get x'd out. So we're going to have 3y minus 3.8 equals zero. We add 3.8 to both sides and we get 3y equals 3.8. So we divide both sides by three and this time we'll get 1.2667 all right so we'll call that uh, 1.27 all right so this case the x is now zero because it's a y intercept right and y is 1.27 and that is how you find intercepts algebraically